So Steve has a pile of consoles. But the best thing about Steve is that Steve sleeps and dreams about consoles. And Steve is with us yet again, upstairs this time, in his bed. So what's, what's one of your favorite consoles, like maybe older consoles that you have? Oh, uh, well, that would be uh, the Intellivision. Okay. Uh, you know, every little kid has to sleep with their favorite toy, so. This is my little Toy Story version. So you can talk to yourself when you go to sleep? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, if you remember those cards downstairs, you would just uh, slide them in here. Okay. And use the pad. There's uh, all sorts of different buttons on it. Circle, spinner. Wow. Oh, this thing is so old. It's it used old. to have a voice box that would attach to it, so it would actually stuff, uh, say stuff. Huh. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't too good at it. It was like very- Like the old computer? Yeah, like- uh, okay. Very Stephen Hawking. There, there. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy shit like that. But uh, it's uh, it's one of the one of the greatest ones. Small plug though. So you had to sit really close to your TV. Yeah, that's a very short board. And as you can see, the first player is completely destroyed because yeah, I just didn't want to sit on the couch. <laughs> yeah, I know. So uh, what other consoles uh, do you like? Ah, uh, is the. Uh, Atari 7800. Yeah. I think I refer to it as a 76, but you know, it's hard to keep on the track. Definitely. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite things that I own. I don't know how many people own an Atari box, but I do. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's probably cool. from like what? 80... Um, four, five, four, five, uh, I think it's actually torn off on the back here. Well, that's irrelevant. Anyway, you have a pile of games for this, right? Oh yeah, you've seen them all downstairs. Yeah. This is compatible with the. 7800 games, the 5200 games, and the 2400 games. So I mean, if you own any Atari, this would be the Atari to own. Yeah. The joysticks were better. They look good. Buttons on the sides and everything. Um, you do f lose the nostalgia feel with these ones, but they're really that just that much better. Right. So you really had like Mario as like your best friend growing up. Oh yeah. Stuff he like was, that. Uh, he was always there for me. So what? What else? I mean, I see that you have Mario there. Um, so, what what other prized possession do you own? Um, probably the coolest thing I have is a, a Super Mario 3 box. Okay. Um, you know, I, obviously, I'm in love with that right now. Obviously with the cardboard and everything, these, these things got destroyed. Mine's even a little bent up around the top and on the side here. But, I found this at a flea market, game and all, for five bucks. Even the sleeve was with it. Wow. Um, I think, I think, the only thing missing is the manual. I do have the, uh, you know, little... Play smart warning things, you know. Okay. <laughs> Which there is pretty cool. Don't, don't seize on us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, this was probably the coolest thing I found anywhere, and I was so surprised that the guy was only selling it for five bucks. I already owned a copy of Super Mario Brothers three, but yeah, it comes with a backup. Yeah, you have to have a backup. You never know what's gonna happen. Right. <laughs> um. Other than that, I do have my Sega Genesis box. Join the 16-bit revolution. That's like the original <laughs> version. Yeah, this is the original. It's a, this is um, a little older because it does have your uh, Sega CD on the back, but it's uh, you know between that area before they made the uh, the wide loader and the uh, the bottom support. Um, I never remember the Super Gun or anything like that. I remember for the Nintendo, but not for not for the Sega. But you know, Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Lufia, Sonic 2 for the Game Gear. Oh, StarCraft. I don't have the heart to throw this stuff away. I have a bunch of old big boxes like that. I, think I remember when the PC games would you come in the giant boxes. Huge box. One CD. That didn't last WrestleMania. Long. Basically the, uh, the extended version. But then I got the uh, sad, like, destroyed boxes. Ooh, these are Shane's glasses. I got. You know, the Assassin's Creed Special Edition that uh, a three-year-old got a hold of, so I mean... I do have my fair share of casualties. You got your Doom box. Poor baby. I always notice the Doom Master. <laughs> the Doom Master. I think that all the time. Doom, Doom, Doom. Uh, Asteroids manual for the Atari, which is, uh, that's pretty cool. How many people have Atari boxes or? Okay, I have to ask. I know you're busy here. <laughs> what is this? Ah! Uh, this is uh, one of those coin things. I have the Luigi downstairs. Uh, we'll go take a look at it later. Yeah. 
little Super Mario World for you. Thank you it's very much. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the weed box. Yeah, Wor worst those. thing I've ever purchased. I am so disappointed in the way Nintendo hey, is going. That makes two of us. The Wii U. Oh, man. Oh, man. This. This is what started it all for Microsoft. Oh, yeah. no way. But look, look what's inside. Why are they in a Microsoft box? <laughs> <laughs> because that's where they like, went. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah, so I got, you know, I don't have Tails or anything like that. Miles, whatever his real name is. <laughs> That's so cool. But yeah, these were, uh, I found these for like six bucks. They were still in the box and whatnot. But being so young, I wanted to play Not with anymore. them. Not anymore! Not anymore! I needed to play with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they were cool as hell. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's uh, some of the consoles we'll start, be get, start getting into. Super Nintendo. Remember that? That classic. I still, I still find myself ripping it out, though. I mean, like, does it really matter? I don't know. Uh, Risk, that's just good old fun. I mean, that doesn't, it's not really a video game, but it's good enough. Oh, uh, this is the Dreamcast uh, VMU, the virtual memory units. <laughs> they were a good idea. Yeah, they were pretty cool. Would, how much were those? Oh, God, it had to be expensive. The price never it was off. I, I remember paying about like 10 bucks for this, but that was uh, yeah. after the Dreamcast died. DDR, yes, I was part of the DDR craze. I we all were. <laughs> and I still have the pack. Oh, I wish I still had my pad. That's Two a, of them! <laughs> that's, a, that's now a piddle pad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it works. I haven't played it in a long time. Ah! Remember when the PlayStation 2 came out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the memory cards were extremely expensive. This was the worst thing I ever bought. You had to load up this disc before you actually had, could use your memory card. So it was kind of like a Game Shark, how you would have to do the Game Shark. Ah, uh, but terrible idea. Terrible. Then they all uh, talk about how you could burn to the disc, and I'm just, I'm looking like, what? There's no way you could burn to this disc. The PlayStation burn Two. What? You no, know, like what is the PlayStation Two burning Lighter. to the disc? It just lied to me. <laughs> we like all sorts of purchases, worthless or not. Yeah. So yeah, I actually have a PS2 running around with a hard drive in it. Oh, Forty gigs. The worst thing is you can't save to the hard drive. What? You could back up to the hard drive. So there was really no reason. The only reason to have the hard drive was to play Final Fantasy XI. Just fucking buy it from the computer. Oh, yeah, PS2, you can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I had like three of them. Yeah. Because <laughs> they always broke. Yes, yes. And they never wanted to honor the warranty. Another reason why I appreciate Xbox. And of course, you know, you had to buy the slim one too. <laughs> of as, I can, as you see, you had to fucking buy more rules. <laughs> so you got your Atari 400 here. Cartridges going here, those were the metal backs that was, I was afraid to be electrocuted by. The 410 adapter, I have no idea what the cassettes were for. Everybody's favorite PlayStation with the huge ass memory card. Uh, the Atari 7800, which you've seen the box and everything for. The beautiful Magnavox Odyssey with uh, the minor thing. Uh, I never played the game, it was kind of annoying. Uh, my Atari Original Sixer with the Popeye. Uh, my Sega Saturn, beautiful, fun game. You got your Nint Super Nintendo, your Sega CD, which I still need to fix, the 32X to complete your battleship, and again, your television. <laughs> this is my favorite one. And I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. Thanks, Steve. Nighty night. Sweet dreams. So that's Steve. Those are his consoles. Those are his games, his magazines, his passion for gaming. We're in heaven, and so is Steve. Sleep away, Steve. Oh, it took me a while to use it. What was that thing? Oh, did I just kill myself? <laughs> All right, let's actually get to a level, buddy. Let me show you how to play it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out. You see Uncle Steve, how he's holding it? Yeah. Like a regular controller. Ignore the whole thing.